Hello guys, in this video, I will explain the solution to the given problem that is the solution to the quadratic equation x square minus 11x plus 22 equal to 0 or x equal to 3 and x equal to 6. What is the base of the numbers? Here we don't want the base value for the given solution numbers x equal to 3 and x equal to 6 for the given quadratic equation. We have to find the base of the numbers. To find the base of the numbers, let us assume that these two are in this one number system and check whether these two are exact solutions for the given quadratic equation or not. To check that condition, let us rewrite the given equation that is x square minus 11x plus 22 equal to 0. It should be taken as equation number 1 and find the solutions for this quadratic equation using the formula x equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a where abc for the quadratic equation are a equal to the quotient value of x square that is 1 and b equal to the quotient value of x that is minus 11 c equal to the constant value 22. Now substitute abc values in this equation to find the solutions. Minus into minus plus then it becomes a plus 11. 11 plus r minus square root of b square means 11 whole square 121 minus 4ac means it becomes as 88 whole divided by 2 which gives 11 plus r minus square root of 33 whole divided by 2 which is equivalent to 11 plus r minus 5.74 whole divided by 2. Here we have two signs plus and minus. If you take plus symbol, then it gives the first solution. If you take the negative symbol, then it gives the second solution of the quadratic equation. Then x equal to 11 plus 5.74 whole divided by 2 and this is the first solution and the second solution is x equal to 11 minus 5.74 whole divided by 2. The equivalent value is 8.37 and this value becomes 2.63. These two are the solutions of the quadratic equation assumed in decimal number system. Now let us check these two solution values with the given solution values that is x equal to 3 and x equal to 6. That is these two set of values are not equal. That means the given quadratic equation is not a decimal number system. Now let us come to the solution of the given numbers and assume that these two are also in decimal number system and find the equivalent quadratic equation with these two solution values by taking the solution as factors and multiply them and equate to zero. Then it becomes as x minus three, this is the first term for the first solution number, is multiplying with the second term that is x minus six, which is equal to zero. Then multiply these two terms to get the quadratic equation. Then it becomes x square minus nine x plus 18 equal to 0. This is the second equation. Now we should equate 1 and 2 equations. Then it gives x square minus 11x plus 22 with the base b equal to x square minus 9x plus 18 with base 10. Now we should compare these two quadratic equations with the corresponding base values. To compare these two equations, let us compare the quotient values of x terms and constant terms. That means the quotient value of x square term is 1. That means 1b, which is equal to right side, the quotient value of x square term also 1 with the base 10. To convert any number system into a decimal number system, take the weights of the digits and then multiply with the corresponding quotient values, then add. Here only we have one digit so that its equivalent value is 1 into b power 0, which is equal to 1 with base 10. It becomes 1 equal to 1. That means in both number systems, 1 equal to 1. Next, to compare the x terms on both sides. Then it becomes minus 11 with base b equal to minus 9 with base 10. Minus minus cancel each other on both sides. Then it becomes 11 with base b equal to 9 with base 10. To convert any number system, take the weights of the digits and then multiply with the corresponding quotients, then sum up. This gives rise to 1 into b power 1 plus 1 into b power 0, which is equal to 9. Its equivalent value is b plus 1 equal to 9. Then it gives b equal to 8. This is the base value of the given solution numbers. Now take the constant values that is 
22 with base B equal to 18 with base 10. To convert any number system into this one, take the weights 0 and 1 and then multiply with the corresponding quotient values 2 into B power 1 plus 2 into B power 0 equal to 18, which gives 2B plus 2 equal to 18, which gives rise to 2B equal to 16, then B equal to 8. This is the base of the given numbers. So from any comparison, we can find the base of the given numbers. Therefore, the answer is the base of the given numbers is B equal to 8. This is the solution for the given question. Thank you.